<laughs> that is a doable jump. It is a doable jump, but I feel like even with it, I would still roll or Absolutely. at least put my hands down. Absolutely. I like the animation, like kind of saw the rocks crumble as they dug their fingers in, which is realistic. That's <laughs> what, what was all the climbing for? <laughs> it's just kind of pulling itself. This isn't Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sydney Olson. I'm a professional parkour and freerunning athlete and a stunt woman. I've also spit fire on Ultimate Tag. My name is Omar Zaki. I've been doing parkour and freerunning for 10 years now and I was also the geek on Ultimate Tag. Maybe what a lot of people don't know about parkour is that it's actually pretty competitive and we have competitions all over the world. It's judged based off of difficulty, execution, flow, like how well you connect everything, creativity, and overall impression. So the basics of parkour and the foundation of parkour is going to be just getting over basic obstacles, climbing over a railing, climbing up a small wall, jumping down from a small wall, and free running is when you start to take creative or acrobatic moves like flips that we both do and incorporating those into your parkour lines. So instead of jumping off of a wall, now you're flipping off of the wall, now you're free running. Thanks for joining us guys. Today we're gonna to be watching some parkour scenes from Dying Light. Let's get into it. Okay, we got some first person perspective. I have never played this game. I have no idea what to expect, but so yeah. far this is looking really, really good. This like yeah. GoPro style footage. Good oh, that's parkour. right, this is the zombie game. That's right, okay. Is it? Yeah, sometimes I always wish that I could see okay, more of like what he's actually the... doing from the third person perspective, but this is kind of realistic to how it might look. You know uh, that gap is scary though. Yeah. <laughs> the trouble that probably Sydney and I have both run into is when filming ourselves from the GoPro perspective is trying to find the best height for the camera to be, whether you want it on a head mount or a chest mount to see the most perspective for a jump. I'm trying to figure out where they have it right now. Maybe it's chest level. Yeah, I actually like to use like the mouth mount and yeah, um, I put it on super wide, like 1080, 60 frames per second. Do you have a proper mouth mount or is it just like a thing that you put? I made mine and it sucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I took a GoPro and one of the accessories that comes with the GoPro kind of fits in your mouth. I think it's been determined that like the mouth mount is like the best level to view parkour from like a, a spectator's point of view. Oh, anyway, he just zip that? lined across, I think. What? On the, <laughs> on the wire, that's amazing. I, I've never ziplined in parkour though. Yeah, no, zip was not really a, in the standard uh, backpack that you bring out. My standard backpack is very, very lightweight. It's water, my wallet, mm -hmm. my phone, <laughs> my car keys. Yeah. And maybe just a small first aid kit with some band-aids and some, I don't know, spray something. Yeah. You know, I should put band-aids in my bag. Yes, I never you should. do. I, I yes, hit you my should. knee yesterday and it was definitely <laughs> bleeding. But yeah. I wonder if this guy has a band-aid on him. Okay, that was cool. I like that little oh, kick. Oh, like slide double kick. I <laughs> get again. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. Like it hurts you. Oh, did they just vault that zombie? I think that person just vaulted over the zombie. If you can, why not? Cool. The climb up. Good, yeah, no elbows, go. no knees. That's a. I do find that they turn their hand a little bit, which is interesting. Yeah, not not per true uh, climb up. Sydney yeah. Olsen climb up technique. Oh god, yeah. I'm that, picky. I think that's barbed wire. That was ridiculous. He had one arm on the wall and jumped from the wall to the bar. <laughs> Climbing a ladder. That's parkour right there. <laughs> I think my biggest fear when climbing something like this is just like a bug coming out and like biting me in the hand. Oh, and then just because let it go. Because I don't think I'm gonna fall of my own fault, but if like an animal messes with me, then now you're out of control. <laughs> I was thinking about this because I had a bail the other day where when I fell, I was like going towards a wall and halfway through the fall, I was able to reach for the wall. Oh, and come like, on. I was just thinking about how interesting that is that your body knows exactly what to do. Okay, well, it helps that you've been doing movement your entire life. <laughs> I don't True. think any person could pull that off. <laughs> sure they can. Do you get nervous training at height? Me? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, somebody else. <laughs> I mean, yes, but not enough to the point that I'm gonna hurt myself. Back where I used to live on the East Coast, there was a big parking garage. Yeah. You never had to jump or do anything crazy to get from slat to slat. You would just go hand, hand, foot, foot. Hand, yeah, it's kind of like climbing a ladder, but it's still scary to do at height. Yeah, you know, and no so what. the parking garage was about four stories tall, and I ended up climbing it and it was fine, but as I started to get to the third and fourth story, like your arms just yeah. start to tremble. like. 
really, really freaky. Yeah, I, but, you have to be able to like control all of that when yeah, you're training at height. And completely trust your body and, and your mind that you know what you're doing and that you're in control. All right. Okay. okay <laughs> well, that's what, what was all the climbing for? He's just kind of pulling himself. This isn't Assassin's Creed. <laughs> No he hand. seems okay though. That's the that's the messed up part. <laughs> what, what, what was that? Is it like a pile of garbage? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'd rather land on a pile of garbage than on the ground. Where's the disclaimer? Don't do that at home, folks. You will break yeah. every bone in your body. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think these are superhumans. Like like Halo, you're a superhuman, you're Master Chief. But here, I think you're just a regular guy. I just wish there was a little bit more perspective. It's a little too tight that you yeah. can't really appreciate like the perilousness of running across yeah, something like that. Yeah, because you'd be looking more towards your feet too and like just, just in front of like where you're stepping so that you know where you're stepping next. Yeah. But I guess in video games, you want to be like looking up towards what's coming to right, you right. as well. Oh, slide. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I love like anything like ramps like that where you can take off. Like it's a really good setup for flips. A lot of slide tackling of zombies. Yeah. <laughs> this is a like, go-to move. It seems like the cool thing to do. And if I could do that, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that doesn't seem like that would work because then the zombies fall down on top of you and yeah. now you can't run. Here comes another slide. There yeah. it is. I want to get hired to do more slides like that. Yeah, burn your tailbone. <laughs> yeah, and let's your go. Hip skin. Oh, oh that cool. was cool. That was cool. Yeah. yeah, I like the animation. Like, kind of saw the rocks crumble as they dug their fingers in, which is realistic. What I'm not seeing a ton of is vaulting. I'm seeing a lot of just jumping straight over obstacles or sliding under. Yeah. But no, like, true vaults. That could be because we're not seeing his hands move or anything like that. Like, yeah. for all we know, he could be doing like a safety. I, vault, I, I, I like no that this, like, weird, the hands kind of float when he jumps, <laughs> kind of just come to this weird neutral position. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really what I would do personally. I definitely oh no, roll! He didn't up. even roll. <laughs> if you're gonna jump off a roof like that, at least roll. Yeah. <laughs> definitely get that tetanus shot for those yeah. rusty pipes. I've climbed up on stuff like that, and it's not fun. When I first started, gloves were the thing. Really? But then, like, <laughs> they just that. looked cool, but they didn't actually help at all. So I bought a pair of gloves in a week, like ripped holes in all the fingers, and then <laughs> realized that they weren't actually helping, and then got rid of the gloves. So yeah. no to the gloves. It's a rite of passage. You have messed up hands, right? Yeah. You're not going to be a hand model and a parkour athlete. A hand model or parkour. <laughs> <laughs> that is a doable jump. It is a doable jump, but I feel like even with it, I would still roll or Absolutely. at least put my hands down. Absolutely, yeah. This guy is just absorbing everything into his legs, yeah. um, but you always want to at least catch with your hands as well to take away some of that impact from just dropping straight onto your quads. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the jump kick and then dropped like a story. That was crazy. And the <laughs> zombie is like still fine. It's awesome. Up on the roof again. Yeah. These, That's a good climb up. Decent the climb up. too though is like these roofs are something that I would never want to train on because they look like very unforgiving. <sighs> like you'd fall through them at any moment. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But True. you know, there's a zombie apocalypse. True. You, kind of can't, you don't have time for that. It seems pretty casual if he's like jump drop kicking zombies. I think he dashed. Like you maybe did a dash fall yeah. or something. <laughs> uh, so a dash fall is where you jump forward and you kick your feet out in front of you and then you put your hands behind you and you push off something. So we can't really see. Oh. <laughs> this. <laughs> you want to oh do that God. stunt? You want to do that, that motion capture? <laughs> 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 oh, he's running on the zombies! <laughs> You forget how much you would actually kind of like take time to plan out what you're gonna do rather than just like climbing up on the stuff. But yeah. it's fun to have that perspective too of like, I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm just adapting. Yeah, I will say, I don't think running on zombies is very accurate. Um, <laughs> I've never personally tried, honestly. <laughs> That, it, well, that cat leap was totally possible. Yeah. Cat leap is where you run and you jump to something and you catch with your hands where you're hanging from the wall yeah. and then you climb up on top from there. Would have taken less energy too for him than having to just drop down and then go all the way back up run. again, yeah. yeah. And jump the gap. But I like the zip lining thing. I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's that's so pretty cool. sweet. Yeah, you'd have to just take your shirt off and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Drop kick number 77. Drop kick number 78. I saw the skeleton. <laughs> I thought I was gonna drop kick the bus. <laughs> yes. Okay, so going down, I understand. Going up, I don't understand. It's not really That's not how gravity works. <laughs> See, the wire was there. Why didn't you just walk across that? <laughs> It Not. just seems like it's pretty hard to do that in the middle of a jump because you have to focus on like where you're going to. 
I don't know. The environment is really, really cool, mm -hmm. um, but just in terms of the amount of parkour elements that they have, it's really not that many. Yeah. I mean, at least you landed in a garbage can yeah. on that one. Yeah, there's garbage everywhere. <laughs> They're always where you need them to be. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how that works. I like doing all of my lines on concrete. Yeah. I don't know about you. Like, I, concrete is easy to trust. Yeah, because sometimes with grass or sand or anything, like if you get your foot stuck, it's like you can break your leg doing that. So I love training on concrete because I know that I can trust it. But the chance of you actually getting hurt if you're doing things that you know how to do is pretty minimal on yeah. concrete. Wood is pretty much a no-go. You gotta be really careful on wood because A, it can be old and it can break. It can have a lot of nails and screws sticking out of it. Because of all the wildfires, actually yesterday I had this scenario where my hand slipped on ash that was on the surface that I was trying to like do a Kong over. It's really important to like understand the environment and that like even though you can be perfect with everything that you do, like oftentimes if things are slippery and stuff you, and you land matter. the wrong way, it's just the way it is. Right. That, see, that's a fine drop. You yeah. wouldn't need to roll for you something like that. To. That you, you would definitely need to roll or he your legs would explode. right on the edge too. That was cool though. Yeah. I, I like that he like grabbed that to save where you like, cause he was falling. Right, the landscape you know? looks incredible. I would love to get a chance to like jump around a place like this, but without the zombies preferably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, This okay, Spider-Man. I love it. Hey, is that a human? We got another, no, befriend the human. You gotta make a team. What are you, more garbage, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. Those walls are the worst to climb up on. You know, those like, you can tell by like that wall. Look like crumbly yeah, kind of. Yeah, they're all crumbly. Look at that. Yeah, the they're edge is gonna. Fun. It cuts your hands up. Yeah. <laughs> no, it makes you tough. Make toughens yeah. up your hands. Exactly. Oh, the zombies doing parkour too. But they're not he's, even grabbing yeah, on anything. Yeah, he's grabbing onto nothing. <laughs> and they kicked them off the edge. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I've uh, never been drop kicked. I'm just gonna say. I have, but and it zombies, doesn't work like this. I think something more effective would be a weapon, but I guess you can't really do parkour with a weapon. I guess what would you do though? If you didn't have any weapons, how would, would you kill these zombies? I would just, yeah, just push them off the edge. But yeah, I would I, stay on my feet. I wouldn't yeah, do a you drop don't need kick. To do <laughs> if I knew I was a video game character, <laughs> then I would definitely do the drop kick. I get it, dying light, because the light is dying. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> is it like the light of society or the light of no. day? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is so dangerous. You can't see anything but what's in front of you. You're gonna get eaten so quickly. <laughs> it's yeah, like T-Rex arms. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's my signature. <laughs> this guy is way too competent at night. I would almost rather have no light and have my eyes adjust to the darkness as much as possible mm -hmm. so you can at least see everything equally yeah. rather than just this spotlight in front of you. That's just my preference. I don't know. I used to learn my flips with my eyes closed. That's just the way it was really? for me. Yeah, I don't That's know why. That's interesting. I just did that. And so like, actually I feel quite confident when it comes to that. Like I don't usually spot landings and stuff so much. Ooh, <laughs> slow motion. We got some speed ramping going on. Oh, All right. oh that was cool. Oh, you are dead. yay, zombies, <laughs> good job. <laughs> this guy's been so careless, it's about time. All right. Oh, it's a human. Oh no, the humans are against the other human. Oh. It kind of makes sense in a zombie apocalypse though. I mean, that's how it works, right? See, it's there we go, that's a weapon. See, stop drop kicking people and use a weapon. His hand fell off. <laughs> I feel like that the way that he just climbed there was super accurate to how yeah. it would be. Like the way he held on and then just like took his time with like actually getting up. Come on, let's get you out of here. Oh, he's saving that guy who's got a knife in his chest. I don't think he's saving him. I think he's saying goodbye. Oh. I don't know much about video games, like I said. <laughs> he's got a knife in his chest. I mean, I don't know, can you survive that? I'm sure there's a case where someone Probably. Did. And if you're gonna be unrealistic, you might as well be a video game and do that, you know? Well, that was Dying Light Parkour. Yeah, thank what you, you so much. What you it's accurate for the jumps and like being able to climb up on walls and stuff. Like even the climb up seemed a pretty like normal speed. So it's not like unrealistic right, or anything. Right. His climbing seemed good and stuff. But yeah, as far as the parkour, I didn't feel like there was a whole lot in it. Besides the drops that he was taking, it seemed pretty realistic. Yeah, there could have been a few more movements, the ability to take drops without ever using your hands to mm -hmm. catch on the ground or do any rolls whatsoever. And again, yeah, that, that might be disorienting from a first person perspective, but that's what's realistic for parkour. They definitely didn't nail the, the height uh, and impact aspect of it. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> for more videos like this, make sure to check out the Gameology Facebook and YouTube channel, and we hope to see you there.
So stick along, stick along. <laughs> <laughs> stick along, what does that mean? You better put that in, basically use that. That's awesome. <laughs> Come check it out with us. Make sure to stick along. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna live that down. Yeah. Yeah, right. Stick along. Yes. <laughs>